Hello, son. I know I'm probably the last person you'd like to hear from. There are so many things I want to say. I just don't know where to begin. First, I must say that I'm so sorry, and I love you. I know I haven't said that enough. I remember when I was a boy, and even now, how much I wanted to hear that from my father. I don't know if your mother ever told you, but my dad did some very bad things and went to prison. I never wanted to follow in his footsteps, but well, they say most kids do just that. I know I've not been there for you like I should have. I miss your wedding day, and I miss seeing Gabe be born. I hope that you'll forgive me for that someday, so you can see who I've become since being in here. About a year ago, a man came to see me. His name was Mike. We would talk a little, and one day he gave me a Bible. At first I didn't want it, but there's not a whole lot to do in here, so I took it, and I've spent some time reading it. When you're desperate, you'll do almost anything to pass the time. Mike kept coming back to see me. I didn't mind. He gave me someone to talk to. He started to tell me that he was praying for me. I was shocked. Why would this guy who doesn't know anything about me care about me so much that he would pray for me? That's crazy. I was reading my Bible and read Romans 3. It said that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. My eyes were opened. I am a sinner, of course. I have always known that I was guilty of everything that I was charged with and I know that I deserve prison. And then I found John, 1 John 1, 9, which said that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. I was forgiven. Despite all the bad that I've done and how much hurt everyone around me, I was still forgiven. I'm still in an earthly prison, but I'm a free man in Christ. I am no longer locked up in my sin. Now that doesn't mean I'm perfect. I won't be there until I reach heaven, but Christ has changed me. And I know he will continue changing and working in me, so I will grow in his faith and wisdom and love. I realize that I need to step up as a father, and my first step to do that is writing you this letter. Please forgive me of my past actions, in the same way I have forgiven my dad and myself. God is and always will be the Lord of my life, as well as my Heavenly Father. He is my perfect example of what a father should be. With God's help, I am starting a new legacy. As your earthly father, I need to be the spiritual leader to my children, and in order to do that, I must lead by example. I hope that you can see me not as the inmate I still am, but as a child of God. With love, Dad. Thank you.